how do you felt about the process? Uh, well, yeah, I want to keep going. <laughs> okay. And this is not art. This is thinking. You know, it's really neat to see. What I like to do, I like the idea of a spark because it has such an energy around it. Nick, great meeting you here at the PKM Summit in the Netherlands. It, it's an awesome opportunity. And you told me about the book that you're working on. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, first, yeah, it's great to see you in person, Jolt, finally. And I am working on a book at the end of a book proposal. And one of the things that I've been trying to get right is note making, which I believe is something far different than note taking. So that's truly what I'm trying to figure out. And because of your visual expertise, you mentioned a model that maybe can help. Yeah, so I, I thought that concept modeling would be a good first step in terms of if I were writing a book, I would definitely start with creating a concept model. So a concept model is a simple visual that consists of some shapes with text in it. Those are the concepts, typically nouns, and some lines that connect these concepts, which are typically verbs. Mm. And so you can see here that concept modeling organizes a vocabulary and creates a glossary. Of course, the glossary is something that clarifies your vocabulary. Mm. And then concept modeling is also a diagram and it is about defining terms and definitions. It is just a very practical technique in terms of getting the ideas that are in your mind onto paper and crystallizing a consistent, clear and ambiguity free vocabulary. So I thought maybe this is something that we could do together mm. for a topic from your book. Okay, yeah, because I'm really excited to see how the concept modeling approach can do for me because a lot of the terms in this space need a good definition. And so, especially with something like note making, I do feel the need to really nail this down so it can be a definition and an idea that lasts the test of time. Absolutely. So, let's give it a try. Okay, what do we do? Yeah, indeed. So... <laughs> First of all, you want to create a new Excalibur drawing. So you will okay. now. Right. Please go ahead. You can use the ribbon button right on the All left right. hand side. Do and that. you just click that and you have a blank drawing. Now, I would recommend turning on the grid because that just helps you organize better. So that's a right click and show grid. Okay. And so from here on, it's pretty easy going. You select a rectangle. You create a rectangle somewhere and you type in your key idea. Okay. So that's your central idea that you're going to be working on. So it's note making. Okay. And then start to think about other terms. So maybe even create a parking lot of items. So you can, if you hold down the op option key, you can drag this and make copies of this. Okay. And in the parking lot, I recommend adding some of the nouns that come to mind in this space and then we start to connect okay. them. And each one in their own box? Each one in their own box and if you want to be stylistically uh, consistent then typically concepts have a capital oh. starting letter. Uh, but yeah, that. that's just... I like that. So yeah, the first thing that comes to mind with note making is that it is active, it's engaged. You can't not be active if you're making. So it's a, the opposite of passive. We have to lean. So, so, yeah. so we can even, yeah. Let me just put lean forward and. Yeah. And so maybe we can already act, add active. So the way you would create this, you mentioned note making is active. So I would put active below note making. So I would just drag oh. the active and put it below and then I would add an arrow. So you can pick an arrow from up there All right. and drag it from note making. And kind of hover here ideally. Yeah, or yeah, indeed. So and okay. just drag it there and then press and enter and type in is. Oh, I see. And so this way you define the relationship and typically in a concept map, if you follow the arrow and you read the words, then it forms a sentence. So okay. note-making is active. Note -making so you've is created active. a statement and 
really the concept map is this set of statements that interconnect and whichever way you read it, you come up with short sentences that explain what you mean by the concept. Is it okay to take a peek back at the, the model? Sure. Okay. So we have concept modeling is a technique that enables essentially uh, enables understanding, analyzing. Okay. Uh, creates glossary. Okay. Okay. I'm getting a sense here. So the verbs. Okay. And w so how would I, would it, should I just stick with active or whatever I think is the most important descriptor? So Yes, so I, I think, and an important point, so I think as with every modeling, there's no right or wrong. Mm. This is about clarifying your ideas, and by putting it on paper, you're able to reflect on them. It is this, ex this process of externalization and then mm. reflection that will help you refine your ideas, and I think doing it visually is just a very efficient way before you get to writing it on paper because then you get your vocabulary right and your writing is going to be much cleaner. Okay. Um, so I see that this was already effective to do is. Are there other verbs or w what's a good next step here as far as where I should? So maybe I would, I would still try to capture some of the other nouns that okay. for you are important when you're trying to explain to someone what note making is. Yeah, so one, of the, one thing that's important because of notes and this idea of, oh, it's so, so abstract and everything, is to, to help people realize you're, you're already doing this thing. It's probably just in our heads, and we need to externalize it and, and see it and actually create the note. But we're, we're making notes up here. Mm -hmm. we, we, we say things, hmm, that's interesting, and we, we, we say why something's interesting. That's making a note about something. And so I, I want to capture that. That's making a note about something. Um, we're already doing it. I guess it's probably something about that, like already doing it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can always change it. Yeah, so what I was thinking is when you talk about note making, probably if I were doing this, I would also talk about the ingredients. Ingredients. So, mm. Well, so what am I making the note about or, or what's my input? So note making is based on what? Mm. Oh, like something that sparks? Are we yeah, talking maybe about maybe based on a spark, or based on an idea, or based on based a on. Um, a book highlight, based uh, on okay. a, uh, a concept, uh, a purpose? I think those are all things that can be based on now. Okay, so let's see here. So I, for sure, based on. I'm just going to keep that there. Also, oh, the based on is oh. going to go on your. Oh, on, yeah. on your arrow, so right. I think a spark is, for example, yes, and then we can even add it. Uh, maybe this one I would think that goes Ooh, up I there, see. but okay. But again, this is a, a spatial organization. I think yeah, yeah, is yeah. A, an important aspect of the whole process because in the end, you're going to remember these things spatially, mm -hmm. and yeah. What's the undo? Right down there, or command command Z, it, but that's Where's on the Z? Y. Sorry oh, it's it's over keyboard. here. No, 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 oh. no, it's down there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the the keyboard layout is in Hungarian, but the actual layout is in English. So it's super confusing to look at this keyboard. Well, I'm just okay. And yeah, it's because of the grid, but don't don't worry that the lines aren't straight. Again, okay. this is not art. This is thinking. You know, it's really neat to see. Um, I was thinking. What I like to do, I like the idea of a spark because it has such an energy around it and it feels fundamental. It feels universal. There's a spark and, and that can take the form of information, idea, um, a highlight from something. But I love spark because it's, it's general, but it has a certain energy around it. So yes, it can be based on a lot of things, but I love to, to continue thinking like spark mm -hmm. as how to, how to talk about it. Okay, so note making is active. It's based on a spark, and um, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, this is good. So if I remember correctly, and I, I kind of I was looking back at this to see if I could find any good verbs, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I love creates. I, is this okay to kind of do? You kind of yeah. steal with pride. So that's 
All Always right. the best solution. All right, so I know it's creates, and what I'm thinking is, okay, and one of the things that's really valuable about making a note is that I feel that we're creating a, an intellectual asset. So we're creating intellectual capital that we can then use in ways that we can't we can't ex- foresee how exactly. Sometimes we know. It's like, oh, I have, to, I have this project, and it has a conclusion. I will make a note, and I will create some thoughts around it, and then I will communicate that thought. Other times it's not clear, and the value of a note is revealed over time. I know that sounds wooey, but it happens. It's just something that sparks based on a spark, but if we create it, it gives us an opportunity to come back to it, and then it can inform our work, our efforts, our projects, our experiences. Mm -hmm. So based, okay, so creates a value. Um, I don't know exactly. That's good. I, I like. I because value is the kind of straightforward general, and I could say I could get kind of I could you know say intellectual assets. Let's see how both look, and I'm curious what you think. Which one? We and and go also, with. you can you can drive this further. So as you saw on the example, that concept modeling is a technique that enables understanding. The, it, visualization sharing so you can also say that note making creates value that is and then you can value mm. build it Ooh, further like that. let's do that so be it, because fun because value is the fundamental aspect so i do like defining it that way initially creates and that's mm-hmm. that um Yeah, and if you press five, that will also give you the arrow. So ah, that's, good that's point. a shortcut that, that just helps you. All right, so it here's a question. I could say that leads to, is that? Is yeah, it, that's good. That leads to intellectual assets. I also, I'll do it this way. I also, and very underrated, and I always like to end with, I think, the the deeper meaning Mm-hmm. Like that creates um, deep meaning. Yeah, I, I might just do pers. Well, we could do. I'll do personal. Let me do okay. personal meaning. Um. Yeah, personal meaning. And then, do you do you branch from here or? Well, so you you can just draw an arrow. So press five again and and okay. just start your arrow from the text, or you can start from up oh, there. You can start from yeah. here. Yeah, okay. you can start from there as well. Okay. So that's also a solution. Excellent. Probably could... I uh, feel like there's another one that we can add. Okay. Value that leads to intellectual assets, personal meaning. Oh, okay. Here's here's a really, really important one. Is that whereas note making is typically how I'd like to define it... Excuse me. Note taking, we are taking information. We're not doing anything. So that's what a, a, a highlight would look like or we're just highlighting from mm-hmm. some, uh, someone else's work, or we're clipping an article, but we're just, we're just taking it. Now, if we talk about note making, in this process of creating value, okay, what does that mean? It's leading to new cool assets that you can use. In fact, I, I don't want to start with assets, so I'll change this in a second. Um, it's generating insights. So it's mm-hmm. generating insights. It, it's... Um, insights and i kind of want to get i probably need to figure explain why it's generating insights because it's forcing us to have conversations Mm -hmm. so i'm not sure if i do is active and and uh, enforces oh forces Hmm. Hmm. creates value based on is active um i mean i could say encourages to be a little bit um lighter about it but um Unique ideas and perspectives. All right, so then I can go ahead and do that. Quick pause. Do we anything? Or do we? Well, there is the closing happening right now. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe we can actually wrap up. So I think, in sense of. So 
You can also work on this a little, and I, I think we can do to go to a reflection. Okay. Because in the end, I think talking through all of this is probably long for a video in yeah. terms of in yeah. terms of the process, and maybe let's then do that wrap up. And so, yeah, Nick, how do you <laughs> how do you felt about the process? Uh, well, yeah. I want to keep going. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I just want to keep going. This has been wonderful, Jolt. It's really clarified my ideas, and I know I have an artifact that I can come back to whenever I need to. Yeah, so, and it was a joy. It was also a joy seeing you expand on your ideas. So, I think, great job, and I hope you continue the mapping. I will, and you'll see it in the, the book in a couple of years, Linking Your Thinking, hopefully, that's the title, and it's going to have a huge section on note making. So... Thank and you. now we got to run to the closing session of the conference. We got to go to the close. We'll see Yay. you.